here we are at Broadwood Loch, Cumberland mm -hmm. Old, to do homeschooling interview number two. So it has now been about a month since you started since you started homeschooling. homeschooling. Yes. Um, and we want to discuss your experiences so, so far. far. Um, it is. I mean, I'm still okay. So I'm still going to school. Um, well, I was going to school on Mondays, Wednesday mornings, and Friday mornings. But it started last week, really. I'd only been going to school on Mondays because of the Duke of Edinburgh training after school. But we basically ran out of things to do there. So since school is terrible, I am now staying off on Mondays as well. So it's just Wednesday mornings and Friday mornings now. And uh, so I guess the main story is discovering that we were behind schedule to begin with. Um, because there's a there's just quite a tight quite a tight schedule to get all the assignments, all the topics covered well, before first, next March. Yes, because I'm doing two years worth of work in one year. So mum had put all of the stuff into monday.com, the whole like program of study and the whole like basically everything and all the deadlines and stuff. And I knew she had done that, but I didn't know that I had deadlines. So I was working my thread way through the modules for each of the subjects, a bit of each of the six subjects per day. But then I learned it was like, how many weeks ago now? Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. But yeah, just to mention, the date is the 2nd of May, 2023. So about two weeks ago, I realised, oh, there are deadlines. So instead of doing... So it was history and maths, maths that I had... <laughs> the birds are really loud. It was just three and maths, the deadlines that I had first. So the rest of that week, I just blocked out just doing those two subjects. And I got through everything else in the topics that I had to do. What's, what was the approach that you took with those two subjects? Um, so to, I do- To kind of cram them for the assignments. Basically looking at a whole, a whole an overview of the whole subject and then like for sort of filling in the gaps so and also like 45 minute sessions with 15 minute breaks between them so that really worked and i did the assignments on the friday and i got friday night dinner as a reward and you didn't normally get dinner <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't normally get dinner and uh yeah so I got the results back and I got really good marks. Yay. Yeah, you got 90% in yeah, 90 in history. Well yeah, we were doing the Treaty of Versailles, so like how it was being formed. There were fist fights in the peace treaty place between the prime ministers and presidents, yeah. Fist fights. And the more you know. And you got 87% in maths. Mm -hmm. So two excellent results, and then you also did your English language and yeah, last your week. physics assignments. Yes, and I also got good marks for those as well. Yeah, I think you got eighty-nine percent. <laughs> Hello, Connor. And that's a swan. <laughs> and. And so how, how, how are you feeling about it now? Do you feel more organised? I feel more organised, yeah. I feel way more confident about it. And you're certainly being much more efficient now. Yes, I'm so much more efficient. I can basically just get everything that I need to do done in the mornings. And then, like, I have a whole afternoons free to do my own writing, my own creative stuff. And just, like, it's so much better than school so much better and how do you use cal the calendar to help you calendar i use calendar 
as like a way to create my own schedule it's it's really really useful because i'm able to see the whole day laid out visually shut up <laughs> yeah so yeah i'm able to see the whole day laid out visually and it's really useful and it's also useful being able to see like when things are due and stuff and It's, it, it tells you when each new thing's about to start, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives you notifications and stuff. And of course you've got it synced between your phone and your MacBook. Yeah, synced between all my devices so I can... So whatever device it happens to be. It's on, it's on my watch as well, so I'll always, I'll always know. There's no avoiding it. Yeah. Um, and you're using monday.com, which is... Yeah, a good way to keep track of everything, like click the, like check things off as done and stuff we can see we've got a gantt chart haven't we to see whether you're on schedule for finishing in yes. march and do you think you'll be able to actually get ahead of schedule now yeah probably i think the method of doing two subjects per week than doing the assignment at the end of the week that works better than doing a bit of every subject per day because it helps me like focus actually focus on the things and actually make progress and not have to like remind myself of what i did yesterday before i do one 45 minute session so yeah it that method i think i'll be doing that permanently instead of just when i'm cramming because i'm i got another time When's your next assignment? My next assignment is due on Thursday. It is currently Tuesday. It's for English literature. And I have a economics assignment due on Saturday, I think. So I'll probably just do them, both the assignments on Thursday. How are you finding economics so far? Economics? Uh, it's not more wordy than I thought it would be. It's a more wordy subject instead of a like numbery one. But, um, Oh, it's, it's, it's new to me, but I'm doing good. And of course, we set up a spreadsheet, didn't we, on Saturday for assignment feedback review. Yeah, like revision. So I I go through the assignment and I go through uh, my feedback and I go through what I could have done better and what I got wrong. And I wrote down where I got wrong, what I can do to improve, blah, blah, blah. Put it into a, a table and then that'll help me with my revision. So, you know, learning from my mistakes. Best place to learn. I've gotten the hang of it now, and it is. I can't. I cannot state this enough. School is terrible. This is a million times better. So yeah, that's where I am just now. Very happy with it. Thank you. All. End of interview. End of interview. <laughs>